I will never be afraid to challenge this illegitimate president. Illegitimate president. Illegitimate president. Mm -hmm. I believe that the president of these United States can be indicted for criminal offenses. I will be shining a bright light <laughs> into every dark corner of his real estate dealings. And uh, I say one name, Donald Trump. That should motivate you. Get off your ass and vote. Will you, will you sue him for us? Oh, we're going to definitely sue him. We're going to be a real pain in the ass. This case has never been about politics, personal vendetta, or about name calling. <coughs> Hello and welcome back, all of you amazing 152,000 subscribers, the vast majority of which will never see any of my content. But you'll definitely want to see this latest atomic smackdown of the fraud case against Donald Trump that was brought by an extreme Democrat partisan who's not only a 2016 election denier, but also ran on imprisoning Donald Trump. And who, by the way, appears to be involved in some shady business herself. So the smackdown comes to us from Shark Tank judge and investor Kevin O'Leary, and he joins many others, including Trump, who say the justice system has been weaponized against the Democrats' opponents. Does this case strike you as odd? Well, let's leave out Trump for a minute and let's leave out politics and just talk about what happens in real estate development anywhere. So if you're a developer and you've got a building on, on a block anywhere in America and it's worth, let's say, $500 million and you want to build a building right beside it, you go to the bank and say, this building is worth $500 million. I'd like to borrow a construction finance loan against this asset, and I want you to tell me it's worth $500 million too. And the bank negotiates with you and says, well, no, we think it's worth $400 million. And you fight it out. You're always trying to show your assets in the brightest light with the sunshine you can possibly determine for them. You want them to be worth the very most because you're only going to get a 40 or 50 percent loan to value as it's called. Then you borrow that money, in the case of a 500 million dollar asset, maybe you get 250 million, and you build a new building with a construction finance loan. And so that's what this case is all about. What, and, and by the way, forget about Trump, every single real estate developer everywhere on earth does this. They always talk about their asset being worth a lot, and the bank says no. And that's just the way it is. So in this case, when I'm trying to figure out, and I'm not pro or con, or I don't care about the politics, who lost money? Nobody. The bank got paid back the construction no finance bank. loan, and a new building was built. And if, if you're going to sue this case and win, you got to sue every real estate developer everywhere. This is all they do. This is what they do all day long, every Trump day. Up. So I don't think this thing will ever survive appeal, regardless of what the fine is. Yeah. This doesn't even make sense. <laughs> now, look, I know Trump's got a lot of problems in other indictments and yeah, but, everything else. But but this if you're a real estate developer, you're watching this, you're saying, what is this? This is ridiculous. This case has never been about politics or personal vendetta. You lose. Now, here's the first question that comes to my mind, and I know that all of you are also wondering why CNN would wait this long to let their viewers know that this entire case is the actual fraud. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm glad this guy said everything he did, but he should have also called out the media for playing their part in this. He's acting all baffled as to how it's gotten this far, but he's literally talking to the reason. And the only reason this case got this far in the justice system is because this nutcase leftist anti-Trump DA got an equally left-wing nutcase anti-Trump judge who has already made up his mind from the start and will likely find Trump guilty. But like he said in this interview, this will likely be appealed and after two years maybe, he'll finally win the case. But that's after two years. There's no victim here. Nobody lost anything. All the banks got paid. Which to me says that all of these other cases against Trump are likely just as absurd and are only really designed to rig this election once again in favor of the Democrats. All right, folks, that's all I got for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you lasted this long, please hit that like button and make sure to keep checking back for more. See you on the next one.